that I gave him the disclaimer. I promise, man. I'm not trying to uh, say that this is going to replace any of that. All right, so that music right there means that this is our Big Bad BIM Tip of the Week segment. Okay, so for those of you not familiar with what the Big Bad BIM Tip of the Week segment is, um, it is a tip submitted by you, a reader, an audience member, and it is sponsored by Enscape. Uh, enscape.bimafterdark.com if you're interested in saving 10%. Enscape is a real-time rendering program. Uh, look out on the channel. I have a review coming up for uh, a pre-release of 3.2. A couple really, really nice features that you guys are going to absolutely love. Um, so if you're interested, check it out. Uh, thank you, Enscape, for sponsoring this segment. And last but not least, if you submit a tip to me and I choose it here on the show, I will send you a free t-shirt just like this one. Back up a little. There we go. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll send you a free t-shirt. So this week's tip um, is actually from Paul who is a member of the BIM After Dark community. Um, I don't mention the community very often on here, but if you are interested, um, it's a private community for for Revit users to learn. Uh, it's got all my full length courses, office hours, etc. cetera. Um, you can learn more at community.bimafterdark.com. However, Paul, um, this is a great, great little tip and it has to do with typing in measurements and some of the really cool things you can do with that um, that feature. And so real quick, what, I'm, what am I talking about? Well, if I draw a reference plane, and I copy this over, right? You guys know that you can type in a measurement. So I can say 36, I can say 35, whatever. Well, did you also know that you can say equals 36 plus 35? Press enter and it's gonna do 71, right? So you can actually type in um, formulas within your Revit moves and, and pretty much anywhere in Revit that you can type in a dimension. Um, so what's really cool about this is if I wanted to copy this and move it, um, you know, uh, maybe I know that there's a wall that's four and a half inches or three and seven eighths is a great example, um, or three and five eighths even. I can say I want to move this three feet, so equals three feet plus three and five eighths inches. <clears throat> so hopefully you can read that. But and then if I press enter, you can see what it did is it actually moved it three feet. I guess this wasn't a great example because uh, <laughs> not a lot of math. I could tell you the times that I use it are when I need to do with fractions. Um, and those of you that are not in the United States, you probably don't feel our pain. But um, if I say four and a half inches, right? If I say equals four and a half inches plus uh, three and seven eighths inches and press enter, you could see it actually did that math. And so you can do some pretty cool stuff uh, within here. Um, the other thing I did want to mention, which Paul didn't mention is his tip, but I think is really cool too, um, that I, you know, the fact that I kind of mentioned uh, Imperial versus metric. Um, if you are working in project, a project that maybe has both units or you're used to using another unit, even though this project is an Imperial, if I type 3M and press enter, guess what it just did? It just copied this over three meters, okay? So pretty cool. You can actually type in units without the equal sign. But if you're doing formulas, um, that's pretty that's that's pretty much the, uh, the the tip that Paul wanted to let us know is if you type equal and then you type in formulas while you're doing dimensions, moves, copies, rotates. Well, rotates are degrees, but you get the idea. Um, you know, you have the ability to, even when you're you're changing offsets in like a wall property, you can type equals um, for like the top offset, and you could type in it type in a formula. So awesome tip, Paul. Thank you for for sharing that and sharing that with the community. Um, I will be sending a T-shirt way shoot me an email to remind me to do so but uh but definitely definitely cool tip so hopefully you guys enjoyed that that is the big bad bim tip of the week sponsored by enscape so cheers to enscape and a cheers to you guys hopefully you guys knew about it. if you didn't now you know awesome awesome tip